Hello everyone, welcome to BDISOL. We are going to discuss about what are the pros and cons of doing dropshipping business on HC. So, uh, we will start with the pros first. And the first benefit of doing dropshipping on HC is that you don't need a big investment. You don't need to invest a big amount uh, to start doing dropshipping on HC. Okay, because the reason is uh, like is you are not uh, purchasing any inventory you're not collecting uh, an inventory, you're not investing on inventory, and that's why. And uh, the second thing is, uh, it requires less money because you just simply uh, place the images on Etsy and you just pay uh, the fees of, uh, of listing. Okay, like the 0 0.20 Etsy charge for uh, one listing is 0 0.20 for every four months of time. You don't need to invest on inventory that's why uh, doing drop shipping on Etsy is a low cost starter. The second one is flexibility. Uh, Etsy drop shipping uh, business provides you flexibility because you will upload as many products as you want from different niches like if you are selling uh, plates you can sell along with that spoons you can sell any home and garden products like you're not because you're not investing on purchasing the inventory that's why it's a flexible business. Number three is scalability. Uh, you can scale your Etsy dropshipping business uh, with a very good uh, profit margins because you're uploading products, you're uploading different products. If one product is not working, you move on to the next one and the next one and the next one. And from uh, in that, you will have like 50 or 100 products or 200 products. So that's why dropshipping business on Etsy is scalable. The fourth one is you don't need a warehouse because you're not purchasing the inventory and that's why you will not need any warehouse and it's seen drop shipping business you don't need any warehouse and it saves you a lot of money the first benefit of doing Etsy drop shipping business is that you can test new products because as you are not uh, investing on purchasing the inventory you're not investing on uh, warehouses or anything you simply upload the images of the product and the title and do a good product SEO so it allows you to test the new products if you're getting sales from it that's good if you are not getting sales there's no need to worry you just simply deactivate the list it won't cost you anything okay now coming to the cons like uh, what are the disadvantages of Etsy dropshipping business so the first one is limited control over the supply chain just try to understand that if I'm sourcing a product from Amazon and I get the order after one month or two months after listing that product on Etsy. I get the order uh, on Etsy. And now I want to uh, deliver the product from Amazon to the buyer on Etsy, or that is on my store. So if I go to Amazon and I found that uh, the product is out of stock, now what will I do? So this is a big disadvantage. I have to actually refund the buyer uh, that uh, came to my store. I have to refund him or her and I have to apologize to him that it is now out of stock. So you have the limited control over this thing. The second disadvantage is that you have a limited control over packaging and customization. All right, like if I am sourcing a product from Amazon or from Walmart, it is, it is the possibility or from any other vendor, it is the possibility that they send that product in their own packaging that uh, that would uh, really harm my store. Uh, this is the limitation in Etsy dropshipping business that you don't have control over the packaging and the customization. The fourth one is a dependence on supplier. If I am uh, like sourcing the product from any vendor uh, for dropshipping business, I get a sale from it on my store and now I have to source from the vendor like the vendor can be Amazon or any other e-commerce marketplace. If I'm sourcing from a vendor might uh, delay the order as a store owner on Etsy, I am dependent on the vendor. I'm dependent on the supplier. The supplier is not going to deliver the product. What you're gonna do? He can do nothing. Uh, well, I will tell you how to find the good suppliers and how uh, you can actually uh, minimize this risk. And the fifth disadvantage of doing Etsy dropshipping business is that you have a really big competition because actually in this business you are not investing a huge amount you're not investing on buying the inventory 
or on warehouses or anything like that. So more and more people come into this business and make it more competitive. So uh, this can be limitation, this can be a disadvantage of doing the dropshipping business on Etsy. That's all for today. Don't forget to share the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.